honestly, we we really haven't seen that much from Happy Guys. It's not like they don't have names, right? Like, well, so Illidan was a, a beast back yeah. in the day, TI4-ish era. I mean, Aphromoosh and Boogie, they're, you know their names. They haven't really been on anything big. And then the, yeah. the LOTV guy, Storm Stormer, I mean, he's mostly a pub star. Yeah. And, I mean, Dude, he was on I, the Wagga I think Aphromoosh is sick. I, I, I thought he was – like, I had this list after TI of Rating people I thought were posed for a breakout, and Aphromoosh and Blizzy were, like, the first two guys I was thinking of. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, Aphromoosh, his um, – I lost my train of thought because That's I fine. just saw Grant lose my pop tab. Completely fall apart there. Dude, have you ever gotten – okay, I was <laughs> sorry to interrupt your thought, so, but <laughs> when I used to break these off, I used to play with, like, you know, this yeah, part, yeah, yeah. and I would always make my mouth bleed. Like, so I'd pause Dota 1 games. I'm like, what are you doing? My mouth is bleeding. Like, again? <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm not going to tell him I'm chewing on a pop tab. Like, that makes me sound dumb. Maybe it's – were you were – you eating glue at that time, too? Nah, I might have been. No, I, I got rid of the glue after, I think, fifth grade was the last time. That's I still good. can't believe people always put on their skin, let it dry. I didn't realize I people hated didn't it. eat it. School, they had to ban a certain type of marker because <laughs> kids <laughs> were just sniffing it. <laughs> and you could tell they said, <laughs> like, the marker <laughs> in the nose. So like, yeah, I think that guy was sniffing. You can't even lie about it. So yeah, I hated that. You gotta try like Bravo. You gotta try the cerulean here. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta try this <laughs> ocean blue. Oh. Dude, I wonder what what goes on in like. How is the European school scene different than America? Do they do one through twelve right or no? Do they uh, not? I, th I think it's similar, yeah. but it's numbered a little differently. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They call it like grade or whatever. I think. Yeah, I know when we say like senior, they get kind of confused. So yeah. I don't. I don't know. Wonder if they you don't have all there. the dumb traditions, dude. Like I swear, American like, high school like is what? so much like. Just like homecoming crazy. and shit? Yeah, like who cares? It's, a, it's just a, a social outing, you know? It's for people to mingle and to meet okay. the ladies. Yeah. One don't. Can we. Why is Ice Frog nerfing Undying instead of buffing other heroes? Why did they take away 2 HP regen at level 10 talent? They took away another hit from the tombstone. He's already. PL, like, already works his tombstone enough. Like, every. Uh, why are they nerfing Undying? It's whatever, though. I, mean, I don't have a good answer for you. But like how they two them. heroes that Sindarin absolutely believes in, man. I think these two are, honestly, I already like No Pango's draft way more. Sand yeah, King's same. one of the best first pick. And me and Kyle might be the only two great. I actually think Lone Druid, besides IO, is the best hero in Dota right now. So with Lone, when you say that, what build? Are you talking about the, the range, range Druid build. specifically think, or just Lone Druid across the I think the board? Lone Druid in general, but the range build is really good. Like The thing is, when you do the range spirit, you can just kill the bear. That's what they did on the other side. Mm -hmm. The thing is, you, you're you able to buy a bunch of Wraith bands and keep them because you don't, you don't have the slot issues other heroes have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you utilize, like, your bear does more damage to towers than anything else in the game, Even right? without items. And you utilize these, like, Vlad's items and... Like, all the team fight just makes your entire kit better. Mm -hmm. And range form Druid is actually just sick. Like, and you do so much damage. And he doesn't die in lane. You have two or three Wraith bands. Your yeah. bear's alive. You have the damage reduction. You actually just don't die in lane yeah, unless right. it's, like, three or four ever. heroes. It's it's nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And he has good stat gain. Lone yeah, Druid really actually good. has really good strength and agility gain. Five okay. Intellect, who cares? He's dumb. It just so other, you're also beefy. Like so what's the go-to against Lone Druid? You seem picked up this early. <laughs> what is there a counter? He doesn't like to buy BKB. So I think you need Reach. Uh, that's why they banned PA. I think PA is like the counter to Lone Druid. I can't you just hop on top through. of them. Yeah. Well, speaking yeah. of that, wow. Um, and in addition, if you it's really just Reach, like I think Zeus is alright against Lone Druid too. Like anything that just has tons of magical damage or like hard lockdown because he runs really fast too. But yeah, uh, it's just Lone Druid sanking. Like Radiant you can lane anywhere. It already feels good. I and guess there's some logic behind the Kunkka there as well. He mm. runs fast, so X catch yeah, him with the exactly. combo. Hard how, lockdown. How did they nerf PA in this last, the E patch? I know they, like, Everything nerfed three skills, but it wasn't that much. I really still think no. it's first pick. All the numbers are a bit different. It's more, I think, the mag changes. Like, the mag Thanks. PA Thanks. together is okay. not nearly as strong. That yeah. hero, however, that is a a, beef a boss. Yeah. Uh, like, Grimstroke Centaur is my favorite combo. Because you just, he, you shield him in, he stuns, you stun again, you double edge, the guy's dead. Yeah, I think yeah. Centaur is... Honestly, a little worse in late game, but he's way better in oh, early yeah. game. Like, they nerfed his ult super hard. Yeah, but I, I guess they, by buffing Retaliate, they made it a little Dude, better. You, but mm -hmm. you realize 13 stack Retaliate at level 4 is like plus 400 damage. Yeah, you actually just, with Grimstar, you actually two shot like yes. lanes. Yeah. That's pretty Retaliate insane. is a nuts. Ad. I actually, I'm enjoying it. Centaur's fun. I, yeah. I like seeing him in games. Uh, that's another good hero against Lone Druid, too, just because of the mobility. You catch him, you have oh, a hard lockdown. They there heard he us. They want us to see it. Now Lone Druid will definitely never die. Yep. Well, it's a, a great solution to that Centaur Grimstroke. Yeah, it is. Does Inkswell is n – we'll, we'll just wait till we're in game. I don't even want to – like, is Inkswell purgeable? I think it is, right? I think so. I it believe it actually be. is. I'm pretty sure it is. 
I think that's why that's, they picked it. And that's another great hero against Lone Druid. You have hard lockdown. He will probably buy a force to get away, but you juke the fear out too with yeah. your Q, which is yeah. really nice. As long as you, there's going to be a lot of timing things, like if mm -hmm. the Slark play, and it's Illidan, right? Like that mm -hmm. was his best hero when he used to play. Yeah. I love the draft from Happy Guys right now, so far at least. What do you do now? What's like our big Timber Slark counters nowadays? Really Timber Saw is quite nice here if they wanted to pick that up. Five seconds. Definitely <laughs> strong laners. Like that early Ooh. pressure is when Slark is really vulnerable. Yeah, Necro is really nice here too. I know Sailor likes to play that. You think he's still a hero? I, I mean, I think with an Oracle and against a Slark Centaur, you're still a hero for sure. Okay. And like, yeah, I think you, you can only play. It's so hard sure, to play yeah. Slark against Necro because you just get low and then you get Scythe and you're dead. Yeah, but if you miss one one hotkey, mm -hmm. see ya. We'll see. I don't think they'll. I don't know. I, it's one of those things. It's like when Crit started picking ES, people start picking it. If one good player starts picking Necro, I could see it coming back. But who will do it? The bandwagon, Kyle. Mm -hmm. no do you think? Did you start any crazy trends when you were captaining for Cole that you remember? Like you know, you picked that hero first and people copied you. Was there like ever a big um, one? I think Furion, like specifically. Oh, when you played just, him. We played him on every role, yeah, yeah. and I still think you should be picking Furion in this meta. Yeah. Whoa, um, we That's did like, it. Yeah. I think AA. We also, not like you can't really say you started AA, but we just always picked it. Yeah. This wasn't something that caught on, but I remember maybe TI five qualifiers when we were all at that hub in Bucharest. Mm -hmm. It was one of the group stage games, and all you guys picked a core war, a core warlock. Oh yeah. Against a. Uh, Core Puck mid, and whoever oh, I, I think I was casting him. with Derry, yeah, Gary B, and we were just like, "What a core warlock? How's this gonna work?" And that puck actually did nothing. You I killed him like three times before level him. six. It's, literally, you get the W off, and he fatal bonds. He's he's dead. Yep. Yeah, you can't even juke. It was funny. I watched the replay, and he's like trying to phase shift ticks. It's like, yeah, <laughs> you're done for, man. Yeah, it was bad. That, news. that was actually our most successful hero. Warlock. Like, I had like uh, I think we were like ten and one. Yeah, and that was before the Warlock days. Like, not many teams yeah. were playing Warlock back then. Uh, Do we see four Sand Kings? Because I know Ghost likes playing Dark Willow. Or is it just going to be Slayer Dark Willow? That hero. Oh, no, they play at four. They do it's, play it's, four. Uh, yeah. it's, he's very good. Zyax, like, core heroes. Obviously, I think Techie's now on that list. But yeah. Willow and Triant, like, his big two. He's okay. got a great Willow. You remember on Vega? He played, he played like, way squishier heroes when he played back on Vega. Mm. I don't know why. He's way, way better now, thank God. Wait, Chuvash actually is the Triant. He's not a Triant player. Yeah. He's, like, a super greedy for... Where's Chuvash? He's not Navi, That's right? Navi. He is still a Navi? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not for long. Yeah, I don't know. No, <laughs> he looks, they, he's fine. He's they, yeah, he looks fine. It's just... I wish, man, Tree, how can a hero with 92 base damage be bad? But he's he is. so slow. Yeah, he is. He's actually, like, they nerfed the yeah. shit out like of him. He is slower than the plot in Fangorn Forest in that movie. Is that an anime? Rings. No, Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay. Fangor Forest? What the hell? Wait, that's not... Is that the forest? Yeah, Fang... Uh, wait. I thought Fangor's, like... Hang on a second. <laughs> well, I thought it was, like, its own movie. No, he's probably right. Like, I love Lord of the Rings, but that's I, some nerd shit. I don't love Lord of the Rings enough to know... Why? What? Oh, all right, cool. Okay, thank God. I got these production. idiots he here. He sniped it. Well, you're like the plot of Fangor. For, I thought that was like right, the movie name. You should this, have said the plot of Return of the King. This is the plot, okay? You've okay. got the tree guy, tree beard. Yeah, just talking to the hobbits, like walking. Oh, when literally. he's walking. Yeah, yeah. That is so slow. You are right. And They're he ants, by the way. He speaks in this page. And I just wanted to die. Wait, dude. That's tree ant, dude. I wanted to die. That is tree ant, because he is an ant. Oh. The Guardians of the Forest doesn't do a very good job. Slower than shit. Mm. What was your favorite? Everyone, most people like two towers for you. Um, Helm's Deep is a pretty epic. That fight, yeah. Yeah. I like. I think Return of the Ooh. King is hey, still my is. favorite. I agree. I like it. just because, like, it's just, it's just epic. You know what I mean? Like the the what's it called? The, when the Rohan, Rohan guys show up. Yeah, it? I don't like all the the ghosties though. All that undead stuff. Yeah, that was that, pretty dumb. That's pretty slow. I was like, why, why not just like with Dumbledore? What's his name? Gandalf. Aragorn? Gandalf. I mean, you know Gandalf. A, he's a rip off of Dumbledore. If you, <laughs> Gandalf. Like, I, I love Harry Potter, right? <laughs> but like Dumbledore, he really didn't make it easy. All right, Gandalf straight up like drew up the plan. Go there. Fought the, all the bosses. He did like, all the work. He literally yeah. did everything. Okay. Yeah. And then Frodo's still a little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I actually. I hate don't Frodo. know if I can do I it. I hated Sam more. So I, I hated both. I actually. I How loved you hating the, on Rudy? I loved Mary and all them, but I hated freaking Sam and Frodo. Like, can you guys just get your shit together? Like, what's going on? Like, the ring's not that powerful. I've worn a ring. 
<laughs> and it did not feel like that, so it's whatever. He wasn't even wearing it. It was on his neck. Why not just, like, you got to put it around your neck. Why not just put it in, like, a purse, you know? Yeah. It's the same in Harry Potter, okay? It drove me nuts when they're wearing the Horcrux necklace. Oh, and it keeps Because we don't want to lose it. Stuff, like, yeah. guys, you put it in. Like, Harry literally anyway. has a pouch that only he can take stuff out of. Yeah. Put it in there, Put dog. it in there. Yeah. But maybe it would corrupt everything in there. Well, then take all your other shit out. What yeah. else can be in there that's what? so important? Put it in Hermione's bag. Yeah. You've got multiple bottomless bags. Literally put it in a tree. I mean, when you can find, like, just hide it somewhere. Yeah, I feel you shouldn't put it in a tree. I feel Voldemort might feel that, but. Templar oh, T.A. All right. So, A.M., Ken, is A.M. Lone Druid too greedy? Uh, maybe. Uh, A.M. is a bit weird now against Slark because the leash prevents your pounce or your blink yeah, away. Yeah, that owns. The T.A. is super sick against the A.M., but I hate it against Lone Druid, actually, because if you ever you get rooted through BKB and you're just your game's over. Um, but I like the Happy Guys lineup. I think the Undying could be sick here. It's just going to be tough for them to force fights, and I think the T.A. Oh. Slark really have to snowball to win this game. I agree. I, I don't know. It's just Lone Druid versus T.A., but we don't see that match in middle often. Mm -hmm. who, what who I assume Lone Druid actually does decent, but I think TA still farms, right? Like pretty well. I think they both uh, might. Do you I think, think TA wins? Do you think No Pango has an obvious late game advantage? Or is it fairly even? I think they have an obvious late. Like if we're talking really late game, they have a big so advantage. So let's say forty five minutes. Yeah, they win. Okay. Mm -hmm. no Pango will not lose his game past like thirty five. Like TA is not a good late late okay. gamer. Yeah. I think the landing phase is going to be important. If Animal you're going to have Soul. Undying Slark against Sanking Willow, I think that's going to kind of dictate who wins this game. Grimstroke Centaur against AM, I think they might just body him. They should. Yeah, I, You I, really I, have to. to I, I actually don't like the AM pick, to be honest. They have uh, they already had, like, they have a silence and a stun, and then you have the Slark, which, yeah, AM beats once you have Manta. Like, you can't man fight an AM with Slark, but you just... Like, what, what the hell am I saying? You but you can't them. play AM the same way anymore because the Shadowblade timing comes online so fast. Yeah, that's AM true. AM mag is one actually. thing. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Yo, can we look at Cinderin's Undying set, by the way? Does he have a bug set? I don't know if he does or not. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, but uh, so I, it's Happy Guys versus the No Pangler. They're already up 2-0 on this tournament. You just start off 4-0. You beat Cinderin. You beat Alliance, maybe the yeah. second favorite in the tournament, I would say. You know, you're in a good spot. This CIS team... Oh, yeah, I think he does. What, so what's bugged about it? Like, look at how, like, above his head. He, it's like a lot of the Chinese players have it, where there's, like, floating particles. So where what? It was only supposed to be on a courier, but you could somehow bug it off the courier and put it on a real, like, uh, item, not on a courier. Okay. So that's, those are, like, the ultra-valuable items yes. because they're, like, not even supposed to exist. Yeah, that's why I'm... I think Sinner has one, yeah. The gotcha. Chinese players are all worth like 20000 and stuff. Yeah, I think the No Pango guys, if they can survive the first 10 or 15 minutes, like without going down, let's say more than 5K, I think they can just break the map apart and just shove out these lanes and, and a vacuum farm. Looks like they could find a first blood nice and early. Willow in some trouble, but she heals up with a fairy fire, and they're going to try to turn it the, the other root. way. It's a root for the kill. Dude, how are you winning this fight versus a 3v3 versus Undying? Well, wow. they're somehow managing to do it. Ghost Stick will be able to get away. Fortune Zen, going to slow him down. 20 stacks. Already completed his Dota buff quest, and, and before the, the horn sounded. The battle that's like the thing with Undying, right? You can suck their strength, but you have no way to keep them there. You can't make them box you. Yeah. Hmm. Well, so what is that? Three, still three, so three for one rune trade, but the first blood came on Dire. Yeah. You'd rather have three runes than Are they really trialing bottom? I don't think that's the play. I'm not a fan. And then what does he get? So you're top giving, is Centaur yeah. AM. <laughs> you're giving AM free. Like, Centaur can win this lane, but not by himself. Yeah. And I love this, though. Put the Lone Druid mid against TA. I actually think Lone Druid crushes you this You think Lone Druid crushes? Okay. I think, he sh I think it's one of those, like, if you don't have experience in it, you're definitely yeah, going to get sure. slammed. And, like, you need experience in this matchup. Like, you wish you played against Quakely your whole career. Hmm. Uh-oh, Ghost Stick. He might have been found. They actually dodge all the roots, but... I think he's okay this time. No. Oh, Decay's Another good. Decay? I love... That's one of the few heroes I'll still pick. As long as you have... If I'm just two stacking, I will always play Undying. Oh, I love fun. that hero. Decay yeah. is... He just wins you lanes. It really does. I love the feeling of dropping a tombstone and then saving Soul Rip for it so people focus it and then you heal it up and they go, oh, I didn't expect that to happen. Yeah, and then you deny it afterwards. Yeah. Denying a tombstone is actually one of those good Dota feelings now. Oh, yeah. yeah this is the right play. you got to bring the Grimstroke up top. you got the kill. That's the best you can hope for. you got to pressure this AM. Because this guy doesn't know how to farm. 
Did they, they didn't block the pole, though, so we'll see if that does anything. Middle. TA 4-0, 5-1 on the LD. Yeah, you got to get an Orb of Venom up on the Lone Druid as soon as you can. I'm surprised he didn't bring one out already. Yeah. Because you just hit the TA. It does so much damage. Cause, yep, there, there it is. There it is. Yeah, some tangos. Yeah. Probably waiting for the tangos. It's, yeah. it's effectively just five extra DPS. Oh, man. And that's the problem. People say with this Dark Will, like, the nerf to her, like, her cooldowns. Like, what does she do now? She used her Q. Now she's just like a fairy. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's oh. always been this hero's God. problem. Dick <laughs> yeah, it's decay. The ridiculously long cooldowns that she has in the early levels. So very one and done kind of hero. Yep. Oh my Denied. god. Dyer's See you later. Oh, barely make it. We'll bring meaning to this Damn. battle. I don't know. Yeah, they they have the. Fr this is a lot like the Alliance versus No Pango mm -hmm. game one. Like Alliance dumpstered the lanes, and they should have steamrolled, but. We'll see. AM still 13-0. I feel it feels like Centaur should be higher than that. Yeah, I would agree. We'll see though. I don't know. AM, I guess he's been tweaked a little bit, but in the games that I've played with him on my team or against him, he's felt kind of hard to shut down. Like even if you slow him down in the first five to ten minutes, he still is able to come online somewhat easily with jungle rotations and whatnot. I think the biggest thing, he'll never get silenced by the the Grimstroke, right? It's so easy to just spell shield that up. That's one of the few things, so. like, the, the one Grimstroke problem is the, the travel time on that, but uh, that's still not that bad, yeah. AM will easily reflect that. Well, it's pretty pretty standard right now. Both teams just 2-1-2. Two, two. Yeah. And there is stacks already. I don't know. This definitely favors Dire. I feel like Happy Guys needs to be steamrolling this a little bit better than they are. Like, yeah. not even getting kills, just winning the, the CS. Like, why is AM 19 and 1 and Silver 16 8? Yeah. Like, I understand Silver, but the AM? Should yeah, it, he really be free farming? Uh, well, it's just because they started out with no pressure. Like, you crush AM level 1, yeah. and there was no one there. Like, you just stun into stun, and AM, like. Yeah is either forced to skill blink or has to like just tank damage to the face. But if you leave Centaur there, you give him two, three free waves. It's a total game changer. Mm -hmm. Does he have a ring of health already or whatever it's called? No, nah, just the Wraith. Yeah, you go Wraith Bands, what am I saying? Oh, and he's doing, okay, I've seen a lot more carry players were talking about this. You don't bring health potions, you just bring out extra branches with your tangos and it's more of like health gained than an actual sal. You just bring a really? bunch of tangos and So tangos. salves yeah. are out now. I don't think they're out, but People are experimenting with this, and like once yeah. again, once one person does it, people catch on. They're like, "This yeah. is just better." It, it's also just because you can keep fighting with the tango regen. Yeah, exactly. So if you have a salve, like, and you're lower health, people can play way more aggressive on you because they know you you'll die, right? You can't trade effectively. Whereas you can be 60% health with the tango running, Hello. and they can't just get take free damage on you. That makes sense. I don't think you go for this. Hey, you just gotta run, or you're gonna die. That was sus. Okay. He's real sus. No maze. That's my new favorite word. Not sus, like just sus. Like you know, sus alert. That's my favorite. Were we just Discord. talking about this? Yeah. All these stupid you words catch on? Who started that, yeah. actually, was uh, a at the town, Ace of Butterfield. All right? Really? No bullshit. That was, like, his word. He'd, like, be there looking all pensive, like, and I'm, uh, like, Charlie's a little sus right now, but I kind of believe him. And he just, it just, it's part of my vernacular now. I love wow. that word. It's great. Bounty. <laughs> and there's bounties, just two for two bounty runes. And well, it's, I mean, it's still very even. The problem is, I don't think Happy Guys wants it. I mean, if you have an undying, like, you, they picked for the lanes, it feels like. Obviously, yeah. Slark's good always, but they definitely, when you pick an undying, you're, yeah. you're going to win that one lane. It doesn't feel like they're running over it. Yeah, like, Sand King's 20-0 still. They got a snowball, too, because how do you kill towers if you're the side of Happy Guys if you don't get ahead, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, if your tough. TA isn't snowballing, you're just going to lose your objectives. You can't shove lanes as effectively. Like, you need to be hunting the map. Slark wants to be aggro jungle from, like, 15 minutes on. Yeah, I think this pretty even laning phase definitely oh. benefits the AM squad. If he didn't stun out of his sandstorm there, that would have been a lot of damage. I still can't believe how even the carries are. Like, anti-mage is not being slowed down by this lane at all. Yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I guess he's missed out on some denies here, so a little bit, but... And once he gets that ring of health, he really just 
won't. He has a third. Ra okay. I, don't, I no, feel you always get three. You always get even three. now for even all now. the nerfs. It doesn't matter. It's not even it's nerfed. Good. I mean, it's nerfed. It's still good. I mean, it, it's, it's still the most value nerfed. though by far. It is. And you're also not you. You're not slot starved on an AM. Like you True. get three rape bands. But it slows you. It slows your battle for your down. Like why do you need the not third really, one no. over the second? Because you it it it's investing in your future. It's like saying that you save you, you know, guys save invested faster. in bitcoin this is the bitcoin all <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. over again <laughs> Ethereum, <laughs> fans Ethereum, are bitcoin. not bitcoin thank you and that should be a kill right clicks from afro moves from silence ouch and there's that's a centaur. A but that's not good that's really not good you kill a support and you rotate in four, four heroes and centaur has to tp yeah it, it just yeah. feels like you're pressured to okay this would this would help a little but i don't think you're gonna get him what do you what, what's the plan it's gonna be a tough one Oh, See ya. And he walks away. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, hit him, Slayer. If I'm Slayer, I 1v1 Aphromoosh right there. Oh, well. I think that's the biggest thing, right? We always talk about uh, the, the supports in the late game, right? Grimstroke's going to be pretty much good all game except BKBs, but Oracle? Oracle's good because it, BKBs don't matter to her. Mm. You, like, you just ulti your own teammate. Like, you're, I don't know. I think Oracle's one of the best late game supports just because of that. Not team fight wise, Ooh. just her one ultimate. I don't know if you can get this one, guys. I like the ca the casual buckler first before the vanguard. I think that's so good. Uh oh, Am's ready to fight though. He's gonna come in and pick up one. It looks like Afro Moosh first. Well, he's gonna get stunned. Nah, he's fine. Boogie doesn't have the damage. Oh, and the root. They Cinder in. Oh, he missed it on the healing salve. That would have actually hurt the Am a lot if he hit the decay. He'll oh. rip it off. Now he might. He could honestly just be dead here. Yep. Curse Crown gonna lock him down. The follow of Fortune's End. Am man. He hits pretty hard. And he's got mana to burn. That'll be another one. <laughs> Spell Shield helping out the Am, but not enough. Afro Moosh with a counter kill. They want more. Slayer on the run. Even the Stampede. They get a double, and maybe even three now. This Willow's Silence left behind. Triple kill for the Grimstroke. Hmm. Meanwhile, the TA got killed in the mid lane. Nice rotation. Oh, and that was actually Illidan's here, and and the TA got yeah, killed. That means they, they just mirrored each other. Wow. They're just over rotating. I think Illidan yeah. TP'd in later, but like, like why? why? Yeah, that, that's the why? thing. Why? Like you could it, get a Shadow Blade in five quicker it, minutes or rotate. It's one. been like a year of this patch, like this concept. But if you, Radiant when an enemy rotates, right, you don't usually want to rotate back unless you can just completely flip the script. Yeah. But the two creep waves you get bottom equalize the kill he finds on the other core. So mm -hmm. as a Slark, your timing is everything for your team. You don't want to sacrifice your game at all for these sorts of plays. Just kill the creeps. Yeah. Well, are they going to find anything? Looks like Cinder will just stun himself like, when they run. I, I saw this in some game. I can't remember what it was. This sh yeah. Slark just ran around the map before Shadowblade instead of just Radiant's grinding to get his Shadowblade ASAP. I think it was a game we cast it a while Yeah, ago. it was. I remember. You remember he was like leaping mid lane yeah. like eight minutes? Instead of just... Like you get Shadow Blade, and who cares where you go after that? You have Shadow Blade, your ulti, you go anywhere. Exactly. Before that, just be Radiant's cool. If it's a full five on five, maybe TB, but 95% of the time, just, just sit in your lane. Yep. Yeah, yeah, just sit in your lane. Well, I'll see, looking for something mid here, perhaps onto the Undying. Yep. Dude, the, the Silver level A versus level 7 TA. Like, TA's a lane dominator. You don't want to be losing a lane with her. Scary oh, moment, though. See, a refraction dispelled. No, it's not. Just kidding. You guys wish it would. HG now on the hunt. They're not going to find anything. I just hit. That's so first? Really? Damage, baby. They need to kill I, something. I guess, but... Uh-oh. Uh find Illidan. It'll be an ultimate. He has no mana. It does lock you down through that. That's Speed nuts. Wow. Is he just the problem is here? they don't really do damage, because once he's out of mana, the AM doesn't do anything, but... You have a high damage in the Dark Willow. Dude, they need sentries. That's the thing, too. Like, Ghostic shouldn't be allowed to. He's level 8 now. Like, if they bring one or two sentries, right, uh -huh. you, you just kill them twice all of a sudden. But now they're never going to lose towers. That's what you're scared about, them getting run over. Now you have a Sand King who can forever yeah. sit top. AM will just farm bottom in the jungle. Yep. They just under. I think Kyle put it best. No Pango. You, you can tell when you watch teams like VP or Liquid, they know how to play. No Pango shows yeah. they understand how to play like the map. Yeah, it just I, I get I, I'm just so confused when I see heroes that shouldn't Radiant's be TPing or rotating doing it because yeah. you're just you're you're killing your own game oh. and you're not accomplishing anything. I mean, this is gonna be such a satisfying feeling. Carry on carry, you're this AM who's farming in I enemy territory yeah. and pressuring the other carry. Like this is 
Oh, he so saved good. the range. I don't know why, but he did. Just to try and get the deny. Why Versus not? Slark. Yeah, it, especially when you consider you have an undying, right? If anyone leaves, like, it should be him to go try and impact other lanes. The goal is to get Slark ahead, and then he sits there, farms a Shadow Blade, and he gets active. Oh, find the Willow. She gets into the Shadow Realm. She's going to come back out and might still be able to survive. Curse Crown oh. connects on both. Oh, that's a mistake. And he ulted, too, on the Slark for it. <sighs> okay. I also have not seen Slark's go this build. Usually I, I see more, way more points in the Essence field. Yeah. Oh, they are going to go to This is going to be long stuns, but this, I mean, it's a Sand King with far. Like, he's killing Aphromoosh in the Sandstorm. I think he might be able to find this kill. Uh, Two more. He just hit him, yep. Easy for Ghost Stick. Things falling apart here for the happy guys. Yeah, they are getting not run over yet, but they are they are getting worked pretty much, I'd say. Yeah. And I this rotation is not bad because you're gonna have a support, probably look to move middle. There you go. He's gonna take the XP. Unlike when Illidid rotated, no one was bottom. Yeah. So it's just a pretty much a hero kill of golden experience going for naught. And when the lone druid rotates, not only is he pick up a kill, but now they're gonna push tower, maybe even get another kill. Nice fear. Will it be enough? He's trying to pop all the caustics. Uh, 200 uh, HP talent. Spooky uh. goes down first. They make it the one for one. They get a stun in the tree line. All nice right. fear. Hits, hits what do the you mean TA. Nice fear? It hit the TA. No, it didn't. Oh, no, then it's terrible. Definitely did not. It definitely missed everything. <laughs> well, did anyone die? Intimidation factor. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Yeah. It is a fear. It is. Now, feel you're all about the intangibles. I'm all about the overview. <laughs> the intangibles. intangibles are what matter. That's yeah. what makes teams great. Dude, the, God, this is the worst feeling is AM, though. When someone has no mana, you actually do nothing to them yeah. until you get items. I mean. yeah. Like that right there, He wasted. they wasted a TP. They fake the TP, they back out. That's value. That's how you win games of Dota nowadays. You take these little victories. AM starting to accelerate quite a bit over the Slark as well. And CS was favoring Slark not long ago. Have we seen a tombstone by Sin? There it, oh, is. it is. You called it. But oh, it's dead. It's That's just going to be an early Wait, Christmas kill gift. It? Are you okay, 150 gold. I mean, you just stand in the sandstorm if you're sanking, though. You're Gucci. Yeah, he literally was silent and he didn't even care. Now he's just going to solo kill a Grimstroke. What is this? He's just dead Wait, is here. He? Why did he not right click him? Uh, he had issues with that final auto attack a couple times. Yeah, Ghostick actually just crumbled. What? Or he's going to get the centaur. What? Oh. Go sick. Almost with the blaze. He gets oh. one. Almost two. It's a double. Oh. All part of the plan, baby. Go. Oh, no. And he's out of vision, so the tower hit oh didn't hit. Oh, my. Dude, Vanguard, Double Bracer, 200 Radiant's HP talent. Strength attack. heroes, I don't want to say you're busted. Damn. Damn. Double but Bracer on any strength it's so hero. It's value. You Damn. get magic resist. Dude, Fight. Tusk at level 10 has 2.2k HP yes. with Double Bracer brown boots. Yes. What? It's not fair. Dude, I love, dude, oh my Damn. god. Damn. I like how he didn't kill a Grimstar, instead he just kills two cores. I know, right? I, I didn't think he was good. I thought he was dead. Man, maybe Ghost Stick really is the best player on the yeah, team. That also. was ridiculous. They need Dust. Where's Dark. Dust? There's Th sentries. This is like, I you're just right. don't like, like, you have those Shadow Blade, so you can't actually leave this lane if you're Illidan, and there there's an go. AM now that's effectively just neutered him for the last four minutes. Why don't you go top? Go anywhere else on the map. Go jungle. He's suffering hard. He has a magic so wand. Where are so the Wraith So he, t he rotates twice out of the lane when he doesn't need to, and now that he's actually getting shut down, he's hard committed to the lane. This is my spot. It feels like he can't really go anywhere, right? If yeah. he does go top, now there's like a Scylla Bear. Well, now he's got a little bit of space. It, it, but. it feels like when the great teams play. Like, you ever play chess against someone really good at chess? Yeah, I play Magnus. Just, you, you feel like right. you're, just, you're just losing, right? Yeah. And you don't know why. You don't know what to do, yeah. and every move they make is like, oh, God, that was good, and you have no response. Mm -hmm. That's what it's like when you play these top teams. Like, they see, oh, you open this way, I will do this. And it's the same with these uh, the idea of, like, where you're supposed to farm, what area of the map do you play. And when I see these Tier 2, Tier 3 team carry guys do it, it just feels like they're guessing. Like, they don't really know what to do. Yeah. And you watch with Tumble Man, like, that guy's always in the right place. It's like a script he's memorized. So what, what do you say to, like, the, the, the carry players who play it wrong? Like, should you watch replay? Should you practice pubs? Like, what should you do to get to that? I don't know, because BSJ plays a lot of pubs, but... And he's not there. Yeah. It, it, does, it, does, it just doesn't work. I mean, that's like a million-dollar question there, Grant. Like, I think watching, how do you develop how do you that game good? sense? And I think like, knowing how to watch... Re and watching replays isn't the know-all, end-all. But I think knowing how, like, mm. why is Matumba Man this good? Like, if you figure it out, I feel... It, it's the same, uh, it's, it's about like learning the right way, right? Like you can go to class and not learn anything. Yeah. Oh, wow. The fear. Sick. A lot of damage. Yeah. He missed it on Aphromoosh, though. Yeah, I don't know about that. One here. That was Make really it. bad by Dyer. One for two. It is a big overcommitment again, bottom. though. Yeah, it is five heroes, but you kill the AM, which is nice. Uh, he is missing a lot of these fears on the Dark Willow.
Wait, how do you hit one out of five tower. heroes there? Yeah. Radiant structures are fortified. But there will be a lone druid farming. There's still two bounties down bottom also. Unless it's a visual bug. Is For it? some reason, there's visual bug. Yeah, it is. Okay, you're right. Yeah. I watch a lot of games. Grant, you know. It actually makes me mad. Attack. I posted on Reddit about it, too, and they still Dyer's fixed it. Man, they got, there's a lot attack. of stuff to do in Dyer's Artifact right now. Just chill. Yeah, my bad. The one, the one, the Earth Spirit bug has got to be six, though. That one's pretty rough yeah. to watch. Yeah. I, there's get, pub games just get ruined by. Can it. you TP out of it? No, you can't even TP. You're just stuck with moving. Oh, big boy, deny there. Can he get it though? Oh, another epicenter. You gotta be, you gotta bring dust yeah. if you're ghosting. That's the thing. Cores, if you're the initiating, like Slark needs dust this game I, as well mm -hmm. for the Sand King. You need, if you're the Sand King, you need dust. Actually, they just need dust against each other. I hate when cores don't buy dust. Same. Like, not even p pub games, like pro that, games. It, it's so tilting. Like, I've had that happen in pro matches where, like, a guy will survive. Like, I, I as the support, have yeah. bought two sentries. I place wards, right? And the guy gets away, and my, and my core will be like, oh, we need dust in that, like, Swedish passive-aggressive way. I'm like, you motherfucker. You've got the gold, all right? <laughs> I spent every about? dime <laughs> I had on detection it's by a, dust. And think about it. One dust, you, you're assuming, is 90 gold, right? It's 180 yes. for two. For you kill. get one kill. That's usually, what, 220 yeah. to Pays 300? Pretty, so. And liquid, you know what the good teams do? They just buy dust. They don't complain. They understand, no hey, this is my job. My job is to find kills. It's fun to see, too. At the end game screen, you scroll over to support items by, you'll always, the good ones will always, at least one pack of dust. Maybe not even more, but ooh, they got a happy guys need some out of this. Nice triple by Boogie. Beer. Is it enough? He, oh, he has to ult himself, which you never want to do, but... They might still be able to turn it around, though. Boogie's yeah, low. He goes ghosting. down first. Illidan, he's still in pretty deep. Damage into Ghostic, but that's sinking. He's tanky. AM Go pops there. the ult. A little bit of damage. Player's dead to the walking dead. Dude, that... Illidan lives. And now Ghostic's going to get brought down. It's a good fight for HG. And he just blinked up there. He might die. That? Illidan grabs him here. Nope, turns the pounce the other way instead. Isn't he dead now? Uh, yeah, I was about to say, isn't he dead and <laughs> <What? laughs> Wait a minute. What is Wait. That? What? What? Okay. Wait, so how does Cinder have a flash? <laughs> First off, but okay, yeah, yeah, what the hell? That was so strange. He just let the AM walk away and then pounce to his death. Does he not know pounce stops? Blink? Honestly, that, that it, has it to be It doesn't feel what? like he does. Because that literally, he just leaps. He kills him there, 100%. I think so. And I instead he got stunned by the pango, and then naive, naive, or naive, sorry, being as smart as he is, he just blinks and he's like, oh. wait, they can't do anything. And not ag again, where was TA that entire engagement? Farming with Adesso, which is cool, but why are you taking these massive clashes around towers? Without your, without, like, the, yeah. the, like, your main damage, I'd say. Like, TA, this is where he's strong, you know? TA's a quap. You can't just be split pushing when you're not actually ahead of the game. Oh, and he's going, I like it. Adesso, lone druid. That's nice. Okay. Pushing. A lot of damage, too, especially with it actually makes your AM do damage in team fights, too. Die. Little thing. Awesome. And then just early BKB after that. You yeah. won't die. It shreds Centaur as well. I know we bought the Buckler, but minus armor now is so much more value in the new patch mm -hmm. that if you can bring people to zero or negatives, like they just get shredded. Oh. Epicenter again. The Vlad from the Sin. Stun. Oh, more follow up, though. They need it. They're going to survive through it. Now the Stampede comes back the other Centaur? way. He's just dead. He's dead. What? Right. He just like ran in. Sorry, Oracle did the same. Oh, they go one for one, a big stun. Stick. This time the fear connects from the willow. Boogie goes down, and this is no pango all day. Don't even go for him, just push the lane. You actually can't just, that's crazy. Like, no pango, I legitimately thought was a bad team two months ago. I'll say it. I, wa I had to cast some CIS games, and like, they were bad, and then no, they something clicks. Hard. Yeah, you, you work hard, something no, clicks. I, I respect Ghost it because he, uh, he DM'd me and we talked a bit about playing. Okay, like he he asked if I was like interested in playing, blah yeah. blah blah, needed five. And I said no because cast your life. But Swiggity Swiggity. There are so there were <laughs> maybe two or three players outside the ones everybody would know that were actively like searching to try and create teams. That you'd and want that to or that no? that's who you want to play with. You yeah. wanna play with a guy that like before T I even He's looking for players. He's trying to figure out who's interested, trying to build his idea of what could work. Oh, like, mm -hmm. you need that. There's a reason if you look at all the top teams, they always have the same builders, right? You can look at Puppy or Kuro, PPD. Yeah. 
you know they're going to have teams. They people always want to play with them. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's because they put them together. And they though. put it. Yeah, exactly. Well, they got to win this fight. If you're Radiant Slayer, he's already they're dead. Destroy him. Tombstone's there. You got to kill that tombstone before you take this fight, and they will. They're pretty good at that. Soul Rip buys it a few seconds, but down it goes. Yeah, but it's God, I hate Tombstone, man. I, I mean, I love playing that here, right? But I can't believe Dude, they took another attack what, off it. Why? How about the movie Tombstone, though? Never seen it. I've seen Are you seen serious? It. I've seen The Never Undertaker's seen Tombstone. Really? The Undertaker. Yo, Produ guys, Tombstone? Oh, my. We're having movie night later. Wait, who's it? Oh Let me God. guess who's in it. Tom Cruise no, and... No, it's, it's a classic. It's uh, well, Kurt Tom Russell. Cruise makes classic. It's Kurt Russell as Wyatt Earp. You know, the shootout, the OK Corral. Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. As Doc Holliday is like. Wait, isn't Val Kilmer the amazing. guy from that '70s show? No. Who's That's that? That's Wilson Valderrama. Oh, okay. Yes. Dude, that he would make a sick Wyatt Earp. No, nope. <laughs> you don't even know what the hell you're talking about, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> it, Wyatt Earp has like pea shooters and six shooters, yeah. I bet. Uh, Wilmer we're, we're, with uh, that shit. Wilmer. <laughs> What's his it name? Is, I <laughs> it is the something Wilmer. Classic Western that I would say like sets the bar. And Va like seriously, Val Kilmer He's was robbed because he should have won an Oscar for that performance. All right. Oh, well, Pippen. Stampede. And he gets it off the stun after the Stampede. Dead. That no feels so damage. bad. And Tombstone's already dead. Look at Cinderin. Oh. Oh, my. You know, I like how they're getting this AM involved in the kills, though. He's been involved in more than half the kills that they've had. Nice. Oh, the stun before the silence. That's like, that cast time. I think they might just rack them off this now. They will. If not, I mean, they're going to fight. But, yeah, they're going uh, high Can ground. we go through the dire items real quick Radiance just to, like, once again tower. reinforce Sun this concept? Attack. Like, Crimson. Yeah, like double Bracer, Crimson, Zyax got a Yules and an Urn, uh, three Wraith Bands, Dragon Lance Desso, Arcane to cast his spells. Like, everyone, like, these optimal setups. That's also why you can go three Wraith Band on AM. You keep him for so long. You do. You're right. Well, Illidan. they almost get him. Illidan makes it back to the Tier 4s, but this Tier 3, it's falling God. quick. Dude, Desso Bear, I love it. Look at it, just shreds. God damn, they siege fast. Look at the sandstorm. He's just chilling. How like far out do they want to go, though? Ghosting with another good stun on the back line. Cinderin falls first. Boogie's now out of mana. He's just a useless centaur. He's dead. There's, like, no coordination. Illidan's, in the meantime, going for the tankiest target on the team. Well played, though, by the bear to go melee form there. Now Illidan's Bad dead. Over. It's just over, yeah. Dude, this one fell apart. No buyback on the Slark, either. What, what is it with these mid players, man? Like, what... Did he get involved? Like, what's his KDA right now? Two, two, two five. Doesn't Radiance feel. I mean, seven kills in twenty-five minutes does not feel like enough. Like, what, the Bears six zero anything. nine. Yeah, I know. The mid tower is still alive. Like, what did the TA actually accomplish in the map? Like, yeah, you got a actually Deso, nothing. but yeah. look at the dire sentry wards over that mid lane. They're like, we're never losing this tower. They actually have like five sentries. Yeah. Holy shit! No, it's it, it, people. Are not it. watching the right matches, and you see these teams Radiant like Liquid. They dominate scary. because they're always applying pressure. You don't do that by running through the jungle. Yeah, you gotta. That's the thing, right? Even when AM was bottom, AM pushed the lane out, yeah. farmed jungle, pressured hit, the Slark, pressured like, the Slark, and down. then far. Yeah, he farmed two places and pressure. Oh my goodness! Nice stun on two again. Willow fears them away though, so Epicenter does some limited Rain, damage. Like what? What the they will grab the TA. She's all isolated. Now she goes down. Boogie, right. he's going to be by himself. He'll fall also. Time to GG out, folks. Salt in the wound at this point. What are your thoughts on no GGs anymore? Well, I mean, people call it, but at the very, very end. Uh, I don't know. I, I like playing till the end, but at a certain, like, if it's this bad, right? You have an AM who's clearly out farmed everyone. Like, you're not going to win a late game versus Syllabare AM. Aw, oh, spell shield. I think when the game's over, you should, like, you know, let it end. Well, that might happen here. Sand King catches another stun. That'll be the Slark dead. Now three in the grave. Full heal. Dude, and what it like the Grimstork, right? She's actually got her key. She is, has actually gotten, like, five ultis off, but they have nothing to combo. That's what yeah. makes Grimstroke Lich so good. Oh, double chain, double gaze every time. In yeah. this game, it's like double silence has been all it is. And that's not that good, honestly. Yeah, it's like if you, when you see the good Grimstone lineups, they've got a Lich and a Beastmaster. They got anyone and another. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And well. it just—it's easy. Anytime Grimstone gold goes off, you know there's going to be value. But yeah, like you're getting thrown. Can you just get it? The, the thing is, like, yeah, sure. OG and EG now—they don't ever GG out because they're good teams, right? So they might actually Jesus. win the game. I mean, I think EG or OG would GG out of this one right now. 
Well, they're going to go. They get one oh, on they pitch. One. Will they get Maybe more? They two. are going to be able to clean up. Looks like they can't do it, and Stun won't do anything. Oh, lordy. Could they just do that again? Probably. Now you GG out. That is the player's you way to play. You go on top. Go out on top. Just go or out you with run down mid joy. And then die, and then GG. I, uh, just run down mid. I we'll think. see if they can get this tier one. Just uh, yeah, Kyle, simmer, see how this plays out. I'm chill. We're fine. There's still tier twos in top and bottom for uh, HG. The so throw in the room. Oh there my. you go. They got all four runes even after losing the fight. That's one of the thing. Like someone from HG should have TP top or bottom, but they let Nave get both bottom. Nave, sorry, both bottom and Oracle both top. All right, they get the tier one. Oh, let it drag on just a bit longer. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. I think this Oracle, like they try the the Slark tries to jump her in the back. You just or him, you just can't. Like, Oracle has always gotten his ulti up. Yeah. Gonna find somebody else, though. I don't think you win this one, yeah. Instant TPs. Oh, the whiff. The super whiff. The whiff on everything. The tombstone! Oh, shit. Oh, BKB. Pretty sure you blink up hill to kill that. Defensive stampede. Dude, AM's in hard. Nave wants it. On like oh, the back lines, they get a double. There's no TA. Do? He was farming top and take 10 seconds to start walking here. Yeah, feels right. And they get the stun on the slug. Will they get the fear before the ulti? They do. Wait. They have ulti. Oh, TA's, TA's here. here. Get ready. The big boy TA is coming. Come on, Storm oh, Stormer. Do oh some damage. God, Storm Stormer. He's in the back lines trying to kill Bear. I don't think you're killing that guy. He no. almost killed Willow. AM gets the ultimate from Oracle. He's kept alive. Now TA turned on on the run. They're going to let her go. Instead, oh, they're going to turn back. Fear. Dude, it feared him back. That's so nice. Wow. Divide and conquer here. HG getting ripped apart. A couple buybacks used. Storm, this is a Storm Stormer just seems like your prototypical pub player. Like, just farming, not really thinking about his teammates' movements or team cohesion. Just focusing on pretty much RRing. Is that like 100% on you or should Cinderin be yelling? Not yelling, but like, I mean, yo, your captain you. should be, oh, but yeah. I mean. You should also. But, well, we're going to see. They're fighting into a shrine. They don't care. All buybacks pretty much used by Radiant. Yeah. These are the last of their lives here. Well, he's dead again. Now it's just the slack. I think middle's dying to Lone Druid, by the way. Yeah, Lone Druid, he's like, ah, fuck this. <laughs> he's <laughs> over. Get me Get out. Get me out, dude. Right. This game's so Hit your Deso on it. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you just right click and win. Oh, go for the kill now. I would go for the kill. All right, they're going to end it. They call the GG. And that was an ass whooping. Well, that, that was... That was a shellacking. That was Adrian Peterson took off his belt yeah. and just disciplined. <laughs> yeah. 34-18. Brutal. Yeah. Yeah, that was. I mean, you look at the scoreboard. It, it wasn't that close either. It was How many of those deaths actually at, mattered? Na at the Very end. Was, a lot of them just came at the end. Yeah, you see 10-2-14 a.m. One of them was from, I would say it was 10-1-14. and 14. He died from trying to go for the throne. And, yeah, he just, look at the hero damage yeah, on AM. Look at That's TA's nutty. hero damage. Yeah, that is that's not the okay. opposite of nutty. I think this is like an atypical AM game where you can't expect them to be involved that much, but there is definitely something to be said for having a late game carry that's also active in pressuring the enemy carry yeah. rather than just trading and farm. Like it, it's a really good point, it's and it, it's tough to explain, you know. But it, it's not about like getting kills even. It's just where are you farming? What does that force the enemy team to do, and how do they respond? Because they had nothing to do. Like they had no initiation. Yeah. No one could force Animage out of that lane, so their only response would be to leave. And because your Slark is behind, he's not going to threaten the map himself because he has no Shadow Blade. So you have no real way to find kills. They farm three lanes on three cores, they buy their items, they take one team fight, and all of a sudden it's TA Slark. And if you're not able to be these assassin type uh, gorillas, like, you just lose. I so will disagree with Naive on one thing. Why does he have the Stout Shield instead of a Wraith Band on AM? Like, keep the Stout Shield because you are going to eventually get Abyssal, but keep that shit <laughs> in your stash or backpack and get the Wraith Band, but it's whatever. 9.9 .9 out of 10 because of it. Yeah. Got I, it. I think it's 9.7.
Okay. Yeah, no, they just they just they just feel as you said, they they feel they understand how to always play the map. They they know how to play around each other. They actually just look I mean, that's why they beat VP, right? They're literally the number one seed at a major. Yeah, like, and they're good. Look at mm -hmm. the uh like contrast that with happy guys, right? You've got a wand on the Slark and one Wraith band, zero Wraith bands on the TA, though I know we did buy a couple throughout the game. Yeah. Whereas the side of No Pango, like they've still got so much value on their heroes. Yeah. And then yeah. I don't know, it just feels like Happy guys, they either – they need a priority – if you are going to draft for the lanes, which I feel like they do, you have to win the lanes then. They yeah. lost bottom. They lost yeah. top. They super lost middle. Like this. Why, why this are you trialing bottom, though? That's the thing. Like, they're no. empty kills. You don't care if you lose the lane bottom even. They would have just started as pulling. As long as AM's going to free farm against Centaur, and Centaur will bully the hell out of an anti-mage if you give him that head start. Right, so even top, shouldn't the centaur Grimstroke combo be able to put yes. more pressure on no, them? No, but then? they didn't start there. It's yeah. the first couple waves He's when AM well either so has I a see. choice. You go blink so that you don't die to like the ink swall stun combo uh -huh. or you uh you like he plays without blink or mana break yeah. so either can't harass you or you're going to be able to do tons of heavy harass to him in trade so but it's all about keeping the anti-mage at bay from the first wave yes. not the hey he's level three now we should start pressuring exactly. him. it's already One, too late yes once he's level three with a wraith band extra regen it's a completely different matchup gotcha. and if you watch grimstroke centaurs play like they just the so am shows up you ink swell and you run at him. Mm -hmm. And if he blinks away, now you're going to dominate the lane. Centaur has like a 15, 20 base damage advantage. Right. Like it's a completely different story. Yep. Hmm. Well, that is game number one. No Pango takes 33-0. In a matter of three yeah. matches, 33-0. If you already missed it, they 2-0 to Lions. Uh, game two, very convincing. This game one versus Happy Guys, pretty damn convincing again. They will play one more game against Happy Guys. Could be a stop. Maybe yep. happy guys will have some. Well, but we we'll are going to take a quick break. It is 7.55 a.m. here. It is looking <laughs> gorgeous outside. The clouds, uh, I don't know if they're sun, but we will take a quick break. And when we're back, can Sindarin complete the underdog story or will Naive just hit him with the body bag? We'll see.